Welcome to the Nalu Vita podcast, where the waves meet the vibrant culture of Venice Beach. Every week, we'll be chatting with Venice Beach locals, business owners, brand creators, and so much more. From the surf shops to the boardwalk, we'll explore the stories and passions that make this place so unique. So grab your favorite drink, sit back, and join us as we uncover the hidden gems and untold stories of Venice Beach. And don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media to stay updated on our latest episodes. Let's ride the wave together. Hey, All right, how's just, it going? Hey, just like you're talking to us. All right. I just talked to us. All right, so I'm Nick. I'm, I'm the head of marketing for Nalo Vida. This is Christian, Justin, and we're here doing our inaugural uh, podcast for, for the bar. And, um, and we're, yeah. So if we mess it up, don't judge us. Or judge us because it's fun, because <laughs> we judge everyone. So for this first episode, I thought it would be a good idea just to uh, give a little background into your guy's story, the story of Nala Vida, how it came to be, and I thought it'd be a good idea just for you guys to start and uh, introduce yourselves and let everyone know your guy's story. All right, I guess I'll introduce myself. My name's Christian Warren. I moved to LA in 92 when I was 22 years old, do the math, yeah. I aged a little bit. Uh, I started my career uh, bartending at the Baja Cantina right down the street. I bartended there from 95 to just about 02. And then I popped around some other various bars, James Beach, the Terrace, a uh, place called Shane on Main Street. And then I opened up my first restaurant in 04 called Mackay. Uh, ran that for a couple years. After I sold that, I bought a bar and grill up in Westchester called Melody Bar and Grill. I still own it. I've had it for 16 years. Ah, oh, great run. That's, I mean, Hell of a run, that's something right? to be proud of. Something, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself. Uh, and now Nalu Vita is uh, my new venture with my partner Justin here. And uh, let him introduce your, himself and then we'll talk about how this became Nalu Vita. Thank you for the intro. Uh, Justin Urich, uh, let's see, I've been in F&B for about 15 years. Uh, That's food I was, and beverage, right? Yeah, food and beverage. Uh, Wait, Venice. Yeah, Venice. All right. Get it. Yes, it's going off. It's going off on this Friday afternoon. Uh, yeah, no, I always wanted to get into the restaurant industry. I was doing private catering at the time and really focusing on making pizzas. And at the same time, I had a construction development company. And uh, my last gig, I remodeled 126 bathrooms at the Standard Hotel. Uh, and at that point, uh, I said, I can't do that anymore. That's and that's where I lost most of my hair <laughs> to begin with. And I took all, all of my funds from doing that last job and I opened up my first restaurant called On The 30, which uh, still stands in uh, Sherman Oaks, California. It was a high-end uh, sports bar. Yeah, bar. And I sold it last July. And at that point, uh, I was hanging around uh, Christian's Bar Melody quite a bit because I had launched a tequila brand and he was a huge supporter of my brand. Casa Rica. Casa Rica. Found myself on and the that's back available of that. here, right? Yes. I'm sorry? Casa Rica's available oh, here. Casa Rica's available here. Uh, we, had a, we had a mutual friend. We both lived in, uh, in Venice kind of around the same time in the uh, you know, early 2000s. And we had a mutual buddy uh, named Sean Barry. Who and actually I bartended with uh, at a place called Shane. He worked for a minute down at Baja Cantina, so I met him years ago. And then every time he'd have a party, I'd see Justin there, we'd, we'd talk, hang out. And uh, when he opened up his restaurant, I have a beer company, and he sold my beer. And so we got to chatting, you know, that way. How long ago was that when you guys met? I mean, years ago. Oh, we don't, we don't have to exact. I mean, our, the friendship. Uh, so you guys know each other. For it was a, a long, slow growth over the yeah, years yeah. as we got to know each other. Uh, and yeah, we then we kind of did our own restaurant tour thing separately. Uh, and then when uh, when Christian found out I had bandwidth since I got rid of my previous restaurant. That's when the conversation started to happen at, at Melody. I know. Was what? it more of just like, a, hey, it would be great to work together someday? Or was it, like, yeah. Did you come, did you it was, it was like, with? hey, we should open up a bar together. Uh, not a restaurant, not mess with the food, because we, we're very passionate about food, but it's also a nightmare. And so, <laughs> uh, so if you're just selling booze, uh, open up at five or six at night and uh, then call it a day. Yeah, right? we, we wanted it to be simple. Uh, and then, <laughs> Uh, Mr. Warren brought uh, what you see behind us so, to the table. Right, <laughs> I, was the I, I wasn't looking uh, 
for a restaurant, uh, but this opportunity uh, got floated by me uh, from my broker, and uh, I knew the, or I know the, the guy who's, who we bought it from. I didn't realize he was selling it, so I hit him up on the side. He was actually my investor at Mackay. And uh, we got to talking. I wasn't in any position to open up a restaurant bar on the beach, but I remember this voice Why, going. Of time or money or both? Financially, really. I, I was like, why not? Like, what if? I mean, let's see how this conversation goes. Like, yeah. You never know, right? You, you don't know until you know. Well, uh, I remember like that that one moment where you sent me the the deck for this space, and I was like, oh god, it's the old terrace. Yeah. I, I used to underage drink here, you know, b back in the back in the late '90s or, uh, or early 2000s. So I knew the space. And uh, that night uh, when he sent me the deck, I stayed up for a few hours and I put together a mock menu because he's like, oh, what if we took it over? We could do, you know, Costa Rican, Hawaiian influence. I'm like, I love all this stuff. And I sent him a menu yeah, yeah. that night. And then I, I think you wrote like, oh, God, we're doing this, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> why, what, 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 why Costa Rican and uh, Hawaiian? What was uh, what was it like? What well, was the space with that? Uh, because you, we looked at the space and what it was before, which was a boring, uh, high-end fish house that didn't feel like it belonged in Venice at all. It and just felt flat. It's uh, and so, what 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 is Venice? You know, and what is it missing? Venice is a beach town. It's a very eclectic, eccentric beach town, like uh, where the city meets art, you know, it's like where the beach meets crime, however you want to phrase it. Venice Grit. Is, Grit. is like no other location that I've ever been to. Anyway, uh, so tropical, just fit that. And what tropical places inspire me, what tropical places inspire Justin. And, and that, we really wanted to wear Hawaiian shirts to work every single day. <laughs> I mean, it's is an this, off day. Yeah, it is an off I'm off actually day. not on the clock right now, so. In your defense, this is the first time I've seen you not wearing a Hawaiian shirt. I, I would want to mix up. it up today. Uh, anyway, so when we started uh, spitballing and conceptualizing the menu, we oh, yeah. were pretty much aligned with everything. He'd start a sentence, I'd finish the, oh, finish yeah. it, vice versa. We talk, start talking about whatever kind of fish dish, or, uh, and it just, it was amazing to be so aligned with someone you're about to go into business with. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, that had never happened uh, to me before. Uh, it was, yeah. you know, I remember our first day of R and D. To us, we, hey, to hey. us, <laughs> winning. Yeah, yeah. You guys definitely have a, like a good. I can tell you guys have a good energy together. Like, well, we did our first our R and D. You know, I, I, he went to the farmers market in the store. I went to the store and I smoked things for a couple days, and we met somewhere in the middle at his at Bar Melody. And we just started putting together dishes. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I think, you know, the first two months we spent, you know, at least three days a week in his kitchen at Melody developing a lot of what you see here at, at Nalu. Vita. And this is before we had a lease or even knew we were going to get this place, but it was never an if, it was always a when. Manifestation is, it's it a works. Real thing. It, it works. <laughs> So it went from, you guys, you were just kind of like, it was a pie in the sky kind of idea. You weren't really sure, let's just have the conversation to Justin putting together a mock menu and you're like, this is it. I got, that was just like Justin. He, I, he's like, let's look at this place. And he got, you know, the way he works and he probably stayed up for hours and put together this menu because that's what we both do. We both are very passionate about food and what would work here. And it just grew from that. Yeah, yeah. What was the time? What was from that point to today? Like, how long did that take? Uh, well, we were originally supposed to take over the space <laughs> last September. Okay. September fifteenth was supposed to be our. We we yeah we started yeah. talking to the seller in last June, and that was about last June was about the time you guys were first. Yeah. Having these conversations. Yeah, I mean, and you know, figuring out. All right, well, we got to raise some money. You know, we got to figure out the lease. So there was. Uh, a lot of there was a, there was a lot of roadblocks, or maybe not roadblocks, but there was a long path in front of us to get to where we are now. Um, but hey, we're here. We're here, yeah. This place is great. Yeah, and it's it's so cool to be back uh, to the neighborhood where I landed in LA, which I lived on Catamaran, which is the Alphabet Streets. It's like three streets over. Actually, when I moved here, I was so broke 
uh, my friends and I, and we used to go to the Cow's End, and they had a pool table upstairs, and, uh, and, and it was 50 cents to play the pool, you know, game of pool. But we would catch the ball. It was like, you know, two ball corner pocket. Oh, I got it. Just so we could play again, because we didn't have another 50 cents. Nice. Well, yeah, a lot of good memories on this block. And you know, I'm, I'm really, I mean, it's it's one thing to open up a restaurant and then another one to open right on the beach. It's still, it's sometimes for, you know, we need to pinch ourselves because we're so involved in what's going on. You know, I, the first night when we opened up uh, and we had our little, you know, opening night gathering for a soft opening, we, we I took them outside. I was like, we need to look at this for a second because yeah. we're just so focused on work yeah. that we've accomplished a huge feat. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and you guys, I want to say that 95% of what we wanted to do here has happened thus far. And just from my own experience, I remember when you guys first had me come and do the initial like filming of the before the teardown. And I had worked with other bar uh, owners who were opening restaurants, uh, and I was so I was actually having a little bit of anxiety. It was happening so fast because <laughs> I would no really because I would come one week. And I would take some photos and some videos and everything, and I'd be oh, okay. I'm good. And then I would come the, the next week, and it would the, the place was totally different within within a week's time. And I was like, as the person trying to document it, it was, I was like, oh my god, I'm I'm missing so much stuff. Like I gotta be here, like, in order to catch all the things that are happening because it's happening. Oh, so you quick. Ca you caught the route of my stuff, route of my stuff. I'm happy with how it turned out, but in the moment I was I was well, like, oh man, this is like, it, you, uh, what I'm trying to say is, you guys, I was. I was still in, sh in shock of how fast you guys. Well, we signed down the lease in uh, in March, and then that's when the clock started yeah. because rent was going to be due soon, and so uh, it took us two months to do this our build out. And uh, my, my, my original that? construction schedule, <laughs> I had it like 28 days. Well, you guys wanted to open <laughs> for uh, Cinco de Mayo. Right? Actually, for his birthday. No, 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 no. The initial one, the initial one, you told well, me. Well, with St. Patty's oh, Day. Yeah, with St. Patty's Day. Day. <laughs> Ambition. Yeah, it, so the contract started, you signed the lease when? March, March 1st. 1st. Yeah, so you, Justin was like, we're going to have. We're going to be Patterson open in party. three weeks or, or, you know, two and a half. And half of me believed it with how fast you guys were moving. I, I didn't doubt it, but I was a little hesitant. <laughs> yeah, so you guys have been open how long now? Uh, since May. Fifth, third, fifth, fourth. Today is June. Third, June I want to say. Six, June it's been a month. It's yeah, been, it's been a, a month. month. Yeah. And how things? How do you guys feel things are going? You know what? We didn't flip our PR switch, and I'm really happy with everything that has happened without flipping the PR switch. Yeah. We wanted to have a gradual opening. I mean, it's our our menu is super complicated. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> we've got we have 36 different marinades and sauces that we make in house. So chef wants to kill us sometimes. Uh, and today we just launched our breakfast, at least our soft launching. We have we have more items know. to add to it, but uh, we want to be able to execute without, uh, you know, overwhelming chef. Yeah, but how we did things incrementally, I, it was the right way to do it. Uh, and I mean, now you can see it's summertime. It's gorgeous out. It's it's Friday, yeah, and uh, this is kind of what it looks like on a Saturday here. So I think we're off to a to a really good start for the weekend Man, and for the summer. Friday mid afternoon, you guys are and the sun's out. The sun's out, yeah. Good crowd. Have you guys yeah. noticed a good mix of locals and tourists, or how, what's the what's the vibe? What's the crowd been like? I think the tourists just started to come in, uh, but the we've had a, a yeah. great response from the locals. They're really excited to have us here. Uh, we just had an event last night uh, called We Are Venice. Uh, one of the surf uh, instructors that have been here for a couple decades, Wagner, uh, brought about 50 people here. Uh, he's doing his own uh, YouTube channel that focuses on uh, focuses on uh, surfers, skaters, artists that have uh, been born and raised in Venice. So we had, we had a great reception last night and I think people are really embracing us. Nice, nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it What's, was go ahead, go ahead. It was the who's who of the Venice locals that, yeah, that yeah. showed up last night, which is awesome. I was I was I wish I could have made it. I uh, unfortunately I had uh, something to do. What did you have time. to do? Yeah. Another Tell photo us. shoot. That I, I have a, more, more important than us? Well, I have a. I thought I have we were a, your the priority. First, the first Thursday every month, I have a standing uh, photo shoot. All with right. A client, so I can respect that. It's the one day of the month. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's all right. But you guys are right. a priority, 100. percent This is definitely my, for me as a, as a marketer and someone who you know. Who loves so a little brands. background, really quick, oh, how I me met <laughs> Nick was he was uh, working for DoorDash. Uh, <laughs> Uh, as a photographer and came into Melody to shoot some food uh, because I just started up with DoorDash and then he said that he's uh, doing social media and at the time I was doing it but that's not my jam I was trying to, trying to run the job. place um, I needed a millennial to handle that anyway we started talking and was that your first client or no I was your you second were... he, had like a, he was doing social media for a hair extension <laughs> uh, anyway so and this was how long ago Nick Oh man, I can't believe it. Or I, just like when you guys were saying, it's pre-COVID. I know that. So. It's, it was five years plus, five years plus. Yeah. So it, it's gone really quick. Happy anniversary, guys. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know the exact date. Oh well. I know, so I, 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 I got hoping, an empty glass. Damn it. I gotta. We gotta flag down one of your uh, your servers. Uh, but no, uh, Christian took a chance on me. He was my. I pitched like 50, 25, 30 people uh, through that, and you were the only one who like was like, "All right, let's do it." Well, do, do you remember that uh, my first experience with Nick was not as, as good as yeah. your first experience with Nick? Uh, Christian recommended him. I had you come uh, to, to my restaurant on the 30, yeah. and uh, it started off really rough. We butted heads a little bit. Actually, you butted heads with my business partner even more, yeah, and yeah. We, had, we ended up having to part ways. But then later on, I apologized to him because I figured out it was my fault. <laughs> there was no apologies necessary. It was just... <laughs> but that's the it truth. It is what it is. It is what it is. And there was no hard feelings. And that's we, life, We right? started over. So. It's <laughs> a beautiful relationship now. I am very much enjoying uh, working with you guys here. It's, and like I was saying earlier, like as far as like branding and everything else goes, this is definitely my uh, top client. It's, you guys did a really good job with the, 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 the ambiance and the design and it's beachfront. And yeah, I'm really excited. To, to on to on work Nick's uh, point there, it's beachfront. And, Je and Jess's Woo! point, yeah, looking around, I can see the ocean from here, the sand, still pinching myself. I Every once in a while I get that, like, we pulled this off. How the F did we pull this <laughs> off? Like, come on. You guys did, because you guys are hard workers, and you're smart, and uh, you're passionate, so. You know, and, and we're here, you know, we're making sure that we're uh, touching tables, and talking yeah. to everyone that comes into our establishment. Uh, if they're tourists or locals, uh, we just, you know, the locals wanted happy hour. We just launched our happy hour last week. We're doing happy hour Monday through Friday from 3 to 6, except for Tuesdays. We're doing it all day long. Good plug. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So what's uh, what's on the so what's next on the horizon? What are the next big? It's funny that you ask that. It's like as if it was scripted. Uh, <laughs> there's no script here. But on the horizon, actually, Chris and I right now are working on uh, an acquisition of a brewery. We can't tell you what brewery, but uh, we're drinking. Is this duck? Actually, this is um, a Kolsch. Because okay. the duck was coming out a little foamy because we just tapped it, so we'll, we'll, we'll work on that. But uh, uh, <laughs> but this is part of the brewery. Yeah. So. Uh, Christian mentioned before he had a, uh, a beer company called uh, Venice Duck Brewing Company, and what I'm drinking right here is our uh, Hazy Wave IPA by Nalu Vita Brewing Bra. Yeah, it's I delicious. Bra. I finished mine already. I'm kind of hoping to get another one. So we'll be able to talk about that a little bit more in the weeks to come, but we're excited. We're gonna we're pulling off a brick and mortar. It's happening, nice. and it'll be a brick and mortar for uh, Venice Duck, and for Nalu Vita, and for one other brand we can't brand mention can't at mention. the moment. But with that being said, is with that uh, with that license uh, at the brewery, we can have up to six tasting rooms. Meaning, we find a location, let's say in Venice. Uh, we attached the liquor license, and now we're selling our own beer. Maybe we have a little kitchen or something. Some of his pizzas. Uh, we're gonna. It's gonna be a small kitchen. What if we're doing the tap rooms? We're not doing one of these. <laughs> no, no, no. Simple. Yeah. Food. Not nothing simple with us, yeah. but it'll be Simplest. elevated. But it'll be limited. <laughs> <It's a little laughs> limited. <laughs> so Thirty-six sauces. So that's next on the horizon, um, and then. Uh, more Nalavitas as uh, you know the opportunities come and we find the right location. Oh yeah. And then for this location I know in the beginning you guys were talking about after year one doing a rooftop. Is that still TBD? 
Or is that something we can't talk Let's about? Let's just say that that is in, in the works. Okay, okay. So it's still in the plans. Yes. It's still part of the plan. It's still part of the manifestation. All right, all right. Yes. Could you grab two more of these empty, please? And uh, Manuel? Yeah. And Manuel! Grab Manuel, yeah. We gotta get him a mic though, so I grab the mic? Yeah, grab yeah. a mic. All right. We'll pause. We'll, uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll do a little filler here. We, we are gonna be uh, uh, tasting this, this scotch. Okay. We're gonna have Manuel so take my place here. This will be Manuel's seat. All right, is he coming? He's coming. All right. All right. Please, hey, 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 hey. I'd like to right. introduce right. you to you Manuel. How are you, man? Owner of uh, Casa you, 12 across the street, a fantastic uh, Italian restaurant, and our favorite uh, you know, neighbor on the street. And I gotta say, we have a, a, a pretty large kitchen that fits six chefs at once. This gentleman has a kitchen, I wanna say it's 10 feet by 10 feet, and he has six chefs. three of us together. <laughs> I, and I cannot believe how much product that he in, in in high volume and high quality comes out of that kitchen. Kudos to you, guys. I appreciate that. Br brilliant, brilliant menu thank and uh, one wonderful establishment across the street from us. And I want to say thank you for embracing us uh, while we were doing the construction here. Uh, Elvis and I. Oh, that's that's this guy's nickname. Uh, Elvis and I would go over there to have sometimes our dinners and lunches because we just had it take a breather away from Nalu Vida and the construction. And uh, Manuel opened his arms to us and has been nothing but a gracious host on this block and has been excited to have us. Uh, and I, I Very just, excited about I want to say real, thank you so much. And uh, it's like, uh, it's nice to see when somebody tries to, this obviously is like a difficult business, you know, restaurant business, but it's good to see when like all the ownership really like embraces and they put all the passion that they, uh, they that they have to try to make it work and to open a place. So I saw that and then I say the same way that I operated over there. So I really appreciate that. And I was here the first day when they opened. I'm very happy there on the block. There was need in all the street, like a new operation to open, to clean up the area, to make it more fun for everybody. Yeah. Then it looks like, yeah, I'm glad hey. you guys are here. Yes, I'm Thanks, the sir. biggest Thank supporter. <laughs> and uh, salute. Hey, salute. 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 Salute, guys. Salute. Have a good summer. Yes, yes. And yes, very happy that these guys are here. All right, well, uh, so every one of our episodes we're going to, maybe it'll be in the middle, maybe it'll be in the end, we don't know, but we're going to review a, uh, a new spirit, or maybe old spirit, uh, that came out. This is uh, Lagavulin Scotch, and uh, I picked it because we uh, carry a lot of rum here, and they finish it in a rum cask. Uh, let's give it a shot. Apparently, it is... Uh, a collaboration with Nick, right? Nick Offerman, Offerman. comedian, actor, uh, Parks and Rec. He's let's on the, do it. He's, he's on the bottle. He's, he's a funny dude. Bottle. Yeah, he he's, he's there, but he's also <laughs> he's he's right here sailing the ship. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is hilarious. <laughs> so uh, let's I don't, do it. We'll we'll go around the corner here and we'll see. Uh, why don't you start? You start with your review. Start maybe start with the smell. All right. So uh, this, the, is a, this is a whiskey and a rum cask? Now this is a scotch. Oh, it's a scotch. Yeah, so a whiskey, but a scotch whiskey, yes. Yeah, in order, in order for it to be scotch, it's got to be made in Scotland. Well, right off the bat, I'll, I'll, I'll just admit that I'm, I'm not the biggest uh, connoisseur of whiskey, but this is very smooth. It's got a, it's sweet. I could definitely tell it's sweeter than a normal uh, scotch. Uh, and I, I'm digging it. A little smoky. Mm. I was just about to say, I love like mezcal, so I like smoky and I like just like mm. a nice smoky. I think it's good. Right. I'm a fan of whiskey. I love whiskey. <laughs> I just will try not to drink. It doesn't much, burn. It doesn't have a bite. Too much of a bite. <laughs> What's the alcohol? At? How about you, Christian? What do you got? What do you have to say about this? I think it's a very interesting blend of the peat and uh, the age, uh, age in the rum cast because uh, it brings out. Uh, enough sweetness, but it's not a sweet uh, scotch. But it pairs well with the with the peatiness in this. I mean, I, I, he tried a bunch of booze and, around and the this world, is where and then grabbed this his like heart, it. and he fell in love here, and enough to put his name on that bottle. We didn't get Justin's review though. Oh. He's the expert. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say I'm an expert by any means, but he knows a lot. A lot. Lagavulin. Ha, uh, has has the peat, but also 
that peat translates into a kind of a, a, a band-aid smell. So I'm getting that like a little bit of band-aid, but I'm also getting that like the residual sugar from the yes. from uh, the honey? Caribbean cask. No, yes. But I like, like honey, sweet. caramel, I, I like, like sweeter, caramel, right? Caramel, it's sweeter caramel, than caramel, uh, caramel. a normal That's scotch, right? Is that just me? No, it's definitely it's it's I think it's delicious. I like I like I, this, it, I like the smokiness. I, I, I think out of all the celebrity brands that I've tried, this is uh, up there as a as a definitely a better one that I've, yeah. I've had. Nick, you killed it, man. You Crushing it. it. You are winning. winning. Um, <laughs> uh, so I guess uh, the question is, would you order this again? And I would. I would. I, I would, I would, I would, I would order it again. I mean, yeah. yes. It's not a double overhead, but it's right. Cool. But it's close to. Well, would I would paddle out again. All right. Well, Alexi, that's good. And this is available at Nalu, correct? Yes. Yes. Solid. What's your website? Um, Do you have an Instagram? Plug it here. Plug it here, please. Um, Casa 12 Restaurante. Casa 12. Casa, Casa 12. 12. Just look up Casa 12, and it's right Casa across 12. from Nali Fantastic here. Fantastic Italian Washington. restaurant. Thank you. Great Ryan, date Ryan. night, by the way. Uh, yeah. Casa 12. <laughs> Great people watching. Beautiful, Great date night. Beautiful, beautiful people like this. Amazing Great. staff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, he, he get crushed it on the staff. I, they yeah. are so attentive well, and so are, friendly. You guys just open, but you guys did a pretty good job, too. I mean, I gotta say. <laughs> It's right. just good to have this area vibrant. Again. It is, it is, it is, right? Yeah. You can feel it. It's great. It's great. Yes, yes. Good energy. Yes, very. Good energy. All right, guys. Well, I think that was pretty good for our first episode. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like today's a... the first episode. Yeah, this, this is, is the first one. one. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do yeah. this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think we'll be forward. You're we'll our first this. guest. <laughs> we'll try to do this once a week. Yeah. Oh, uh, perfect. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think, honestly, this was the perfect setting because the, the sign in the background is amazing. Yeah. You guys are going to see it once I show you the video. It was like perfect. And, and our sign is going to start going off at, at 5.30 now. Okay. It's and set up for that. So for the, for the, for the, for the following episodes, we're going to do a mixture of interviewing and uh, having Venice locals on, uh, you know, uh, other business owners from the area. Yeah. And uh, different brands of uh, liquor, uh, liquor brands and reps and owners are going to come in and all the above. All Everything above. bar and Venice related, industry related, we're going to have uh, topics and guests, right? Yeah. Yes. And then we should open up something for Q&A once we have enough people. Yeah. Once, we get, once we get more than 10 people. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. Thank you for being one of the 10. Yes. Well, that's for you. I can guarantee you all Christian's friends are going to watch it. And probably all your friends are going to watch it. So that's at least Perfect. 100, right? So, at well, least what was, our, what was our uh, what was our we had one of our videos that did pretty well on the first one where you guys shared it with